Welcome back. I hope you all had a good weekend. Last week we talked about how showing kindness to each other and showing kindness to ourselves will help this storm pass. And on Saturday the 10th of October, it was World Mental Health Day, which helped us to remind ourselves about being kind to ourselves. We took time to reflect and think about what we could do to be kind to someone else and what we could do to be kind to ourselves. Some children I spoke to last week shared their reflections. This included spending less time on their games and phones and speaking to their family more. Another child said that they go out for a walk with their family. One child said that when things go wrong, sometimes rather than getting frustrated, they stop and remind themselves that it's all right to make mistakes because that is how we learn. One child in year three said that they think about the value heroes and decide which one will help them out. These are all great ways to be kind to ourselves and each other. Let's remind ourselves of our value heroes. Oh, you are so good at remembering these. There's respect for Rio for respect. Determined Darby for resilience. Confident Clyde for confidence. Kind Kelby for kindness, inclusive Immy for inclusive, and aspirational Adley for aspiration. It has been fantastic to see so many children receive a celebration of learning certificate on Friday linked to the school values. It has also been great to see children walking home with value hero stickers and saying, look, Mr. Howard, I've been a confident Clyde. As you know, we have been reading the text the Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse by Charlie Mackesy. In part of the story, the boy said, Sometimes I worry you'll all realise I'm ordinary. At Highbury, our motto is valued as individuals, inspired and nurtured as learners. Nobody should feel ordinary. You are, we are, all individuals. Have a think about something you like doing. Think about something you have done that has made someone smile. Think of a time when you have been kind. This makes you more than ordinary. Perhaps this is what Mole meant when he replied to the boy and said, love doesn't need you to be extraordinary. You may have seen that the Queen recognised people for their work on making a difference by giving them special honours. Some people were awarded an OBE which means an order of the British Empire. And some people were awarded an MBE, which means a member of the British Empire. Not all of these people were famous. In fact, some of these people may have thought they were ordinary. Doing something kind for someone else, showing that they care makes people more than just ordinary. I congratulate everybody, famous or not, for their well-deserved honour. Let's continue the story. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole. But I find it difficult. Do you? said the boy. Yes, so I say something like, I'm glad we are all here. OK, said the boy. I'm glad we are all here. We are so glad you are here too. What's your best discovery? asked the mole. The time enough, as I am, said the boy. I've realised why we are here, whispered the boy. For cake? asked the mole. To love, said the boy. And be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts are hurt? asked the boy. We wrap them with friendship, shared tears and time till they wake hopeful and happy again. Do you have any other advice? asked the boy. 
Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. Always remember you matter. You're important and you are loved. And you bring to this world things no one else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? Thank you. Look how far we've come. Sometimes all you hear about is the hate, but there is more love in this world than you could possibly imagine. During the story, Mole asked the boy, what's your best discovery? The boy replied to the Mole and said, that I'm enough as I am. What does the word discovery mean? Knowing this, what did the boy mean? What have you discovered about yourself since you have been back at school? Share your thoughts with your adults in the class. The boy then says, what do we do when our hearts hurt? How could our hearts hurt when they're inside our body? Good ideas. Sometimes our heart can hurt if somebody has been unkind or if somebody we are close to is poorly or if we have done something that we had wished we hadn't. Sometimes our faces can show how our heart feels. Do you agree? I like how horse answered the boy. We wrap them with friendship till they wake hopeful and happy again. Perhaps your heart has hurt before and somebody has made it happy again. When the boy asks the horse for more advice, the horse says, don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated. This may need some time to think about what horse meant. Share some of your ideas with your adults in the class. I think the horse sums it up perfectly when he says, always remember, you matter. You're important and you are loved and you bring to this world things no one else can. Who do you think he is talking to? What makes you think this? Is there anybody else he could be talking to? This story was about a group of animals who whilst on their journey found love and friendship. They listened to each other, they helped each other and they taught each other. Because of this, they grew in respect, resilience, confidence, kindness, and they were inclusive. These and other values meant that wherever they were going and whatever they were doing, they were going to be better, kinder individuals. They were aspirational. Let's take time to reflect. How have you become a better individual? Have you become more confident? Have you shown more kindness to yourself or someone else? Have you developed your resilience since returning to school? How have you become a better individual? And what else could you continue to work on? Thank you for listening to today's assembly. Have a great week and remember, you matter, you are important, and you all bring to this world things no one else can. Bye everyone.